Hello YouTube friends. This is Larry out in Yorktown again. And uh, I wrecked my motorcycle the other day. Uh, this is one right here I'm showing you. It didn't do much damage except to me a little bit. It's been up the uh, runner board. Uh, the flat tire is what caused the accident. As you can see there it's flat as a pancake. <laughs> I was going down the road and uh, all of a sudden she started squirming. I said what in the world before I know it? I was laying out in the road. And uh, car was all around. Scared the crap out of me. Especially, uh, what was good was a couple guys uh, on motorcycles were behind me, and they pulled over, and got, I couldn't I couldn't pick the bike back up because gas was leaking out of the tank, and uh, and I was slipping slipping on that uh, trying to pick it up, and they helped get it up and get it out of the road, and uh, I had to go down go back to the house and get my uh, uh, trailer right here and pick it up, and that was a bear to get up there because the bike sits so low anyhow. Okay, I'm gonna take a little ride today and talk about a couple things, and uh. Get my old butt off across here. First thing I want to do is a shout out. I'm not so sure if I get his name right, but I'm gonna put it down below where y'all will see it. Tyrannus Rides. His name is his um, YouTube channel. He's from uh, I'm gonna say North Northern West Virginia. Shenandoah Valley, I think, something like that. I could be wrong, but anyhow, he's just starting out. It, um, he's got a great channel. He does a good job on his uh, editing and stuff like that. Nothing like me. <laughs> and uh, go check him out. Subscribe to him. Help him out a little bit. Get, get some, get some subs that are under his belt. I'm not sure how many he's got, but he hasn't been doing it too long. But uh, he's got an Indian Scout, I believe it is. Nice looking bike. He's put a couple things on it. Did a couple. Um, uh, I forget how you call that. <laughs> Show you how you put stuff on. And uh, go, go check him out. Check him out, give him some love. I was wondering how many, I, well, I asked y'all this. How many of y'all, um, how many of y'all subscribe to people when, like, say somebody give them a shout out? How, how many of y'all do that? I do it every time. Every time there's somebody I, I'm, I'm Facebook friends with, it's, uh, uh, gives a shout out to somebody I always do it and I was wondering um, do you do it uh, you don't do it or why you don't do it or anything I just because it's all free I guess if I um, if everybody did it to me that people gave me shout outs or the mail call stuff like that it'd be all right anyhow I'll, I'll um, a friend from work the other day just moved in my neighborhood down the road here and uh, he wanted to know if I could walk his dogs two days a week because his wife, her schedule and his schedule, he just needed two days. I said sure. They gave me a couple of dollars to do it and I don't mind doing it. Nice little dogs. And the other day um, I got my dogs too and I had to come home from the gym and walk, walk my dogs and I want her to get over here and walk their dogs for the storm coming because the storm was supposed to come about two o'clock. And uh, time I got over here, it was about 12 o'clock. And it started sprinkling just a little bit, and the clouds were dark. I said, man, I've got to get over here and get these dogs walked before the storm starts. So I got them all hooked up, which is, I like to put a, a heavy-duty harness on them, harness, so they won't get away because either not my dogs, I don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose no dogs, but especially somebody else, some friend's dogs. See this tree right here? It was, a big limb was cut down from up there. Not cut down, was knocked down. And I used to walk right through there with the dogs. And I was on, the, I was in their yard when that thing, a lightning hit it and struck it. There's a house right there. And uh, if I'd have been a couple minutes sooner, boy, that thing might have fell on us. Luckily, it didn't. So anyhow, so uh, my my grandson uh, just moved back in with us. He just got his learning from it, and I've been taking him out to uh, practice a little bit. We bumped heads a little bit because <laughs> his instructor, he went, took a, a driver's head and me and him don't want to see eye to eye on it. So, he's a good guy though, he's a good boy, my grandson. I'm glad to have him there in the house. But uh, I just want him to slow down a little bit. Don't wait the last minute to stop. Being a new, a new driver, I like for him to be a, a bit more cautious. But I mean, a lot of stuff his instructors teach him is great for somebody that's a seasoned driver, yeah. But now, 
say so what else I can talk about today let's see uh, oh yeah you might not want to hear the rest of it it's something a little different and that's not different I've done it before but a little slight bit of politicking it's coming up next so uh, I seen uh, uh, Bill Clinton even Bill Clinton was on the some uh, talk show and he said that uh, our country is going down the tubes. Funny thing about it, it's his, it's his, uh, his people is in office right now. But he knows, hey, he knows people, uh, they're in office right now are doing a bad job. I see, if your own people, too, he didn't come out and say, yeah, that the other guys are doing bad, or his guys are doing bad, but is saying our constitution is in jeopardy right now which it is we don't want communism socialism which is the way it's going right now with the people that's in office now and i just want to let y'all know the uh, midterm elections coming up in november you got to get out there and register to vote democrat or republican this ain't your father's Democratic Party. I might have said that before, but I'm going to say it again. These are not the same ones. These are not your John F. Kennedys. Uh, ben Wilson Johnson. Uh, even uh, Carter. Even Carter was doing a bad job, but still he's not. He was not the socialist, communist type people. we got to get these people out of office. Get out and vote. I'm going to go out and volunteer again this time. Hopefully the ones that uh, I, I made mad did get off. <laughs> the open borders, people are pouring in here. They want us to get shots and stuff like that, but they let people come in on the border and not be checked out or anything. It's not making any sense. It's crazy. Like I said, even Bill, Bill Clinton. We've got to do something. We've got to do something hurry or our country's going to pot. Take like uh, Venezuela. Did y'all see what happened to Venezuela? Venezuela used to be a great country. Socialist Party took over. They've gone to pot. And our country could go like that if we don't get our butts out there and vote. And I hear some people say they don't want to talk politics on YouTube. You got to do something. You got to start talking about it or we're going to lose our country. We got a great country. It's still time to save it, but it's, it's going to take a while to bring it back. Well, I know, I know Trump wasn't a great president. Well, he, he had a lot, a lot of great ideas and did a lot of good things, but his mouth got him in trouble. His mouth got him unelected. That's what happened. People didn't vote for uh, uh, Biden. They voted against uh, Trump. Trump would have kept his mouth shut. He'd been a great president. But that mouth of his, he, ego, that kind of crap, he'd run it for him. But say the midterm elections, we get the people, the right people in there, and we can slow down this communism socialism stuff so 